General Mills presents June and Stu Irwin in Trouble with Father. Hello, I'm Betty Crocker. I guess every family has its own kind of problems, but certainly baking a cake doesn't have to be one of them. You don't have to be an expert when you use my cake mix. Take my newest flavor, Honey Spice. The men really go for it, and so will your bridge club. A perfect cake. You be the judge, or write General Mills, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and get your money back. Anybody can make a cake like that, even your youngsters. Just add water and two of your own fresh eggs. Those fresh eggs keep it moist and tender to the last crumb. <laughs> Not that you'll ever have any crumbs left over. A Betty Crocker cake mix cake is high, light, better tasting. You know, even your very first cake will be perfect with my Betty Crocker cake mix. As a matter of fact, that's why I can safely say, I guarantee a perfect cake every time you bake, cake after cake after cake. as a short drink. Willie, sometimes you're impossible. A swallow is a... Well, it's a... It's a bird and it goes to Capistrano, wherever that is. Well, what's she doing up there? I don't know. Willie, maybe she's sitting on eggs. Well, that sounds mighty uncomfortable. This creates a problem. Egg business? Yep. If she's going to live with us Irwin, she's got to have care and food. Well, if she's an early bird, she'll get a worm. That's it. Willie, you go get a worm. Uh, no, no, not me. I, I'm afraid of him. Willie, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's a celebration of your 10th birthday. Right, and that's an age that entitles me to respect. Willie, I want a worm and a ladder. Are you planning to ascend? I'm afraid your father... He'd understand. He's a humanitarian. Well, I thought he was a Democrat. Let me see a worm and a ladder. That's a mighty strange combination. But I'll get it. Yes, Mr. Irwin, the adolescent brain is sometimes more profound than the adult. Oh, that sounds paradoxical, but it's true. Because the young mind is not confused or congested by contradictory experience. Dr. Smedley, I don't think I'll argue with one of our most eminent psychiatrists. But don't you think many actions of youth are unpremeditated? Gum, Mr. Irwin? Uh, it's tutti frutti. Um, no thanks, sir. Now, about the arrangements for your lecture tonight. Well, one moment, Mr. Irvin. I haven't answered your question about the unpremeditated action of youth. I would say the subconscious controls practically all mental impulses in the child. Mm -hmm. You mean that what we think are cute, childish sayings and pranks are actually thought-out schemes to befuddle us? Pardon me. I only chew for a few minutes. Uh -huh. Yes, Mr. Irwin, befuddling us is a child's vocation, and it usually works. <laughs> Here's your ladder, but I don't think this is the right way for you to get up in the wood. If I can climb trees, I can climb ladders. Put it up there. Oh. Get it straighter, Willie. Hurry up! Get a little straighter, Willie. Where's the worm? He's resting. I'll get him in a minute. Whew. 
be right back. Here he is. He's not very fat, is he? Well, I'll put him back in the garden until he gains some weight. Oh, no, we can't wait that long. Now, you hold the ladder, and I'll feed the birds. All right. Be careful now. Jack, I got both feet on the ground. <laughs> Miss Jack, Miss Jack, are you all right? I don't know. Feel my head. You like that bird up there? You got an egg too. Is that serious? Might be a concussion. What's that? Is that something like a breakdown? Well, it's sort of a breakdown of the head. Breakdown? Miss Irving! Miss Irving! Nervous breakdown. Something terrible has happened. I, I... Oh, Stu, you better come home. I will, dear, I will. What is it? Are the pipes leaking and the house on fire? Oh, worse than that. Jackie fell off the roof. Oh, that's impossible. She's not allowed on the roof. Oh, oh, I'll be right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, now, don't get excited. Mm -hmm. I heard the conversation. Uh, just be calm, be placid. Did you ever fall off a roof? Certainly. It isn't bad, uh, unless you get hurt. Well, that's just what I thought. Excuse me. Well, Mrs. Irwin, I'm quite certain our patient is going to live. Oh, Dr. James, I was so worried. She, she was unconscious and so pale. Well, that was just shock. She's still suffering from it. But uh, outside of that, there's nothing but a bump on the head. Ouch! Now, now, Jackie, uh, try to uh, make believe that it's an Easter egg and you're going to have it for breakfast. You graduated from medical school in 1910, and you give sugar pills to old ladies who think they're ill. Why, that's extraordinary. Whatever made her say that? Mrs. Irwin, for the moment, your daughter is clairvoyant. It sometimes happens after a blow on the head. Nothing to worry about. Oh, I must run along. I do have several old ladies waiting for their uh, sugar pills. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. James, and thank you. Goodbye, Mrs. Herman. <laughs> Mrs. Irving? Yes, Willie? Is she all right? Dr. James thinks so. I think it's all my fault. Jackie! Jackie, Dolly, it's Daddy. Are you all right? General Gothels built the Panama Canal in 1907. That's right. How does she know that? She's dreaming, dear. Come on, let's let her have some sleep. Oh. Oh. Come on, Willie. Go on. Well, this is the whole story, Mr. Irvin. You know that old ladder wiggles like a snake? Yes. Well, Jack is on this ladder with this little woman. And the worm started wiggling, and then Jackie started wiggling, and naturally the ladder started wiggling. And the first thing to come down is what? The worm. Oh, the heck with the worm. What about Jackie? Well, you know, what goes up must come down. And Jackie was next. Why didn't you try to catch her? I couldn't. I was wobbling. Wobbling? Yes. Well, you see, wobbling is a man-sized wiggling. You oh. know, that worm fell right down my collar. <laughs> All right, Willie, you woggled out of that. Well, thank heaven she wasn't hurt. Dad, I just got home, and I went upstairs, and, and... And what? Jackie was sitting up in bed reciting the Gettysburg Address. It's the reaction to her shock. I'll go to her. Shock? Your sister fell on her head. Oh. Nothing to worry about, Miss Joyce. 
That ain't a vital spot for Miss Jackie, you know. Well, maybe it isn't with her, but it certainly is with me. Mine is aching like a sore thumb. I think I'll go and take a nap. Get me that salt over there, will you? Oh, good morning, Jackie. Happy birthday. The Indian Ocean is 22,968 feet deep. What flavor is it? The Indian Ocean. Oh, uh, strawberry. Are you nuts? No, but I have the gravest suspicions of my younger daughter there. Oh, oh, I forgot to ask. Adele told me she fell on her head. Yes. Is she all right? Well, the doctor says so, but there's something peculiar. Oh, well, it's her birthday, and I'm not going to spoil it by worrying. Hmm. Adele and I'll be over for the party. Good. Uh, we have a present for her. Oh, fine. She'll be pleased. I'll, uh... Birthday. What's all the singing for? Why, it's your birthday, dear. Mr. Johnson was off key. I was <laughs> not. Now, now, let's have the party. Jackie, make a wish and blow out the candles. What candles? Why, they're on the cake right in front of you. Oh, damn. I thought they were comets in the Milky Way. Comets? I hope that all the people heard in the boat wreck will get well again. <sighs> she must have fallen harder on her head than they think. Or it could run in the family. Do you think Jack is crazy? Yep. Uh, more ice cream, baby. Ah, more ice cream. Ah, ah, ah. Are you enjoying your party, dear? The common stock of the United Refinery will go up 10 points by Wednesday. Did you hear what she said about the United Refinery? Uh-huh. She's cake happy. Mrs. Johnson, you were born March 21st, 1909. Why, I was not. How did you know? Well, I'm going home. Please, Adele, she's only a child. I'm going to buy some of that stock. Now, now, Harry, take it easy. Jackie doesn't know. Pop, do you carry insurance? Insurance? Um, what kind? Fire. Mr. Mr. Huh? Seven buns. I think it's the kitchen. Holy oh, smoke. Well, you're just going to sit there. Aren't you going to help, Stu? That clinches it. She predicts a fire. There is a fire. I'm going to buy some of that stock. Come on. We'll return to the Irwins in just a moment. Fullback Bobby is a boy of nine. He can really hit that wine. He's a star because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. He's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios. 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 Yes, Cheerios, the cereal that's shaped like a little letter O. No other cereal is like Cheerios, the only ready-to-eat cereal with this wonderful toasted oat flavor. A breakfast of Cheerios with milk, fruit, and buttered toast is all you need to give you go power. That's because Cheerios is made from energy-packed oats, made to give you the vitamins and minerals you need for healthy nerves, good red blood, strong teeth, and bones. So give the whole family go power from Cheerios, the oat cereal that needs no cooking. Then you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. And now, back to the Irwins. Well, thank heavens the fire was just in a fuse box. Well, it's all over now, but it certainly ruined Jackie's birthday party. Candidly, I don't think she even knew she had a party. There's something strange, something almost occult about her. It must be the result of that fall. Huh? That far away look. Those things she says. I'll never be able to look Adele in the face again. <laughs> she probably was born in 1909. <laughs> oh, look, June, sit down, will you? And please stop that pacing. You know it makes me nervous. I'll admit I'm worried, but I don't know what to do about it. Outwardly, she's normal. She has no pains. Her appetite's good. Stu, sit down. What? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Well, it's certain that something has to be done about it. Incidentally, where is she now? She's up in her room. Midgie's with her. Yeah, well, maybe I better go up there and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with her. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, Dr. Smedley, come in. Thank you, Mr. Irvin. I just wanted to uh, say goodbye and also to express my appreciation for use of the school auditorium last night. Oh, it was a pleasure. I'd like to have you meet Mrs. Irwin before you go. I'd love to. Yes. <laughs> June, this is Dr. Smedley. Of course. 
We heard your lecture last night. It was wonderful. Oh, thank you. Child psychology is usually interesting to most parents. <laughs> Jackie. Jackie. I beg your pardon? Oh, I'll have to explain. <laughs> uh, Jackie is our younger daughter, and she's uh, a problem. She fell on her head. At what age? Oh, you don't understand, doctor. It was yesterday. She fell off the roof. But our family doctor says she's all right. Except that she seems in a daze, makes the strangest statements and the most extraordinary prophecies. Huh? Well, that's not unusual. It's a temporary paralysis of certain brain cells causing ordinary mental functions to, well, shall we say, jam. Oh. But doctor, that sounds too serious to believe. Uh, could, could it be permanent? Not at all. And it isn't serious. Uh, tell me, does she have a bump on her head? A small one. Uh, I'll get her, doctor. That is, if you have the time. Well, of course. I'd like to see the child. Thank you. Gum, Mrs. Irwin? It's tutti frutti. Uh, no, thank you. Jackie! Did I hear a familiar voice? Uh, yes, dear. Will you come down here? Oh. Jackie, there's a man inside who wants to talk to you. I'm sure you'll like him. There's a man in the London phone book whose real name is Simple Simon. Yes, dear. Dr. Smedley, this is our daughter, Jackie. How do you do? Hello, Jackie. You're a fine-looking young lady. You're chewing gum. It's tutti fruity, and I only chew for two and a half minutes. I'm a spearmint man myself. I've tried it, but it just doesn't do anything for me. Well, let's sit down. Uh, tell me, Jackie, do you have a headache? It's going to rain all day Thursday. It is? I must remember to wear my rubbers. Oh, I'm sorry. There seems to be a slight pressure here. In the study of phrenology, that would justify her condition. A Gibson is a dry martini with an onion. Jackie, you mustn't talk that way. The doctor's trying to help you. Uh, tell me, Jackie, what do you see? Two fingers and a hangnail. Hey, so there is. All right, suppose you tell me your name. Jackie Irwin. You had rice pudding for lunch. Yes, I did. This child is astounding. Is that good, or...? It seems to be an advanced... No, that case had different symptoms. Oh. What is a bassoon? A large monkey. She's absolutely right. I also understand that you make prophecies. Is your car parked out front? Yes, it is. Why? I think you're going to be sorry. <laughs> oh. Very, very bad girl. I am not. I'm just very, very smart. You're supposed to be crazy. Sure, and crazy... I mean, crazy people aren't responsible, so they can't be punished. That's super. Maybe I can be crazy, too. How do you do it? Well, first you have to fall on your head. Uh-huh. I think I'd just be half crazy and stub my toe. <laughs> then you get an encyclo... Encyclo... Encyclopedia. That's it. And you read that and get a lot of silly answers to things. That's all there is to it. It leads me told. Look, today was my birthday, and we had a party, didn't we? Uh-huh. Well, everyone thinks I don't know I had a birthday party because I'm bats in the belfry. You better be more explicit. If I didn't know I had a birthday party today, I can have another one tomorrow, can I? That's a delicious idea. I thought so, and you're invited. But you better go now. I feel a spell coming on. Have a good one. I'll be here tomorrow. Hey. I just don't get it. When a little child can scare a psychiatrist away. Well, you never can tell about these mental cases. I had a second cousin who was hit over the head with a tub of butter and thought she was an English muffin. <laughs> You talk like a man with a rubber mouth. I can't believe there's anything wrong with Jackie, and yet there must be. Excuse me, Mr. Irwin. Why, Midgey, are you still here? <laughs> How did you like the party? Oh, well, it's quite pleasant, but it will be better tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, my, yes. Jackie says he was having another party tomorrow, on account of he wasn't supposed to know that he had one today. Goodbye. 
Stu, this calls for action. <laughs> right. But delayed. <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> Excuse me. No, thank you, dear. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Joyce. Jackie will be down in a minute. Mother, I think she's absolutely all right now. She was making her pigtails and whistling when I left the room. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so relieved. Aren't you, dear? Who, me? Oh, yes, of course. Now, pass the sugar, Joyce. Sure. Good morning, Good Jackie. Good morning, morning. Well, isn't anybody going to wish me a happy birthday? Jackie, your birthday was yesterday. Mom, you're off calendar. Today is my birthday. I'm all ready for my party. Jackie, don't you remember yesterday? Cake and strawberry ice cream? I don't know what happened to yesterday. But today I'm going to have that strawberry ice cream and cake. All right, darling, you can have anything you want. Stu, I think yesterday was a blank to her, but she's out of it now. I don't know, dear. This is a serious thing, and I think we should be sure. After you went to bed last night, I read a medical book and learned a few things. I feel fine. It gave a sure cure for a person who has fallen on their head and lost their memory. What's that? Drop them on their head again. It restores the senses and relieves the initial shock. I don't want to... Stu Irwin, do you mean to say... Daddy, you couldn't... Well, I'm sorry, but there's no other way. Come on, Jackie, we'll go up on the roof. Pop, I have a confession to make. Oh, I thought so. Well, go on. Well, uh, it was all I believe. Continue. Well, maybe it was me to me, Pop, but golly, we don't have strawberry ice cream very often. I saw my chance to have it for two days. And here I've been waiting on you. That's absolutely the most awful trick. Jackie, you go to your room. Now, just a minute. There's a few more questions I have to ask the young lady. Where did you get all of that information you were handing out in such a psychopathic manner? From the encyclo... 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 Encyclopedia. And I'm all ready for the party. Well, good. You're just in time, Midgey. Only I think this party is going to be just between Jackie and myself. Now, Stu, she didn't do any real harm. No, just a few more gray ones. You can borrow a bottle of dye from Mr. Johnson. No, there are a few more things. How did you know there was a boat wreck? I heard it on my radio. Mm-hmm, and the Dr. Smedley had eaten rice pudding. There was some on his tie. And that his car was going to be hit. Well, I was looking out the window when I saw old man Sawyer driving up. You know, he never misses anything in the way. Oh, um, that doesn't excuse your actions, young lady. And now... Maybe it was Willie. He was vacuuming upstairs. Oh, yeah. No. Willie! Willie! Are you all right? Say goodbye to the boys in Valley Forge. Tell them I'm off to cross the Delaware. He thinks he's General Washington. Huh. He's Hello. Oh, Stu. You know that stock Jackie was talking about? Yeah. I bought it. It's up five points. Mr. Irwin. Huh? When are we going to have a strawberry ice cream? Get the freezer out, darling. Uh, 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 Daddy. Shh. Gee, Mom was counting on that jello cake for Johnny's scout meeting tomorrow. Okay, Daddy. It's so easy to make a cake with Betty Crocker cake mix. I'll make her another one. White cake, devil's food, yellow cake. It's a good thing her mom's modern. I'm Betty Crocker. With my yellow cake mix, all you do is add water and a couple of fresh eggs. The other ingredients are in the package. Same fine things you'd use right in your own home. You'll get a perfect cake just like this or write General Mills, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and they'll send your money back. A high cake, a light cake, a better tasting cake. And don't think it isn't. That's why Betty Crocker herself says. I guarantee a perfect cake every time you bake, cake after cake after cake. That's right. You do get a perfect cake with Betty Crocker cake mix. Cut Betty Crocker's honey spice cake into squares. 
Then pour on a quick serve sauce made with any instant pudding, vanilla or butterscotch. Garnish with fresh frozen or canned fruit. Or try an easy topping of butter, honey, cream and coconut. Spread on your warm cake and broil until brown. Looks perfect, tastes perfect. ready-to-eat cereal with this wonderful toasted oat flavor. Cheerios is made from energy-packed oats, made to give you vitamins and minerals you need for healthy nerves, good red blood, sound teeth and bones. Get your Go Power from a Cheerios breakfast tomorrow. He's feeling his Cheerios. 